It is an extremely exciting day because we just got DaVinci Resolve 18 beta. It is available to public so anybody can go online and download it. I literally just Googled Resolve 18 and you will get two different options. You can download the free version or you can, as always, download the paid version, which is called the studio version. Okay. Now there's a lot of exciting stuff here. I'm just going to breeze through that and then I'm going to tell you my favorite top three features from Resolve 18. So we're getting the Blackmagic Cloud. We're getting the Blackmagic Proxy Generator, which is amazing. You can create a watch folder and it will automatically throw files there and you can even extract them onto a hard drive and use it uh, if you're on the go. There is simplified proxy workflow where you can just literally hit the button and choose, you know, flick the switch, if you will. Like if you want to work with proxies or camera original, uh, shared project libraries, if you are sharing the project outside of, you know, your home, your network with um, your colorist, visual effects artist, whatever have you. With your client, you can do remote monitoring streaming, which is amazing, right? So like you can just not lossless, but still like low latency, much better results than like saying, you know, doing a Zoom call or something like that. And you can uh, project the image onto your client's monitor. Uh, they could be somewhere um, other than where you are and then like take them through your project, what's going on and, you know, uh, do the feedback, whatever you're doing. Um, object mask um, is getting to the next level. Uh, there's this really exciting thing, depth map that they're using, which basically creates a very subtle key. So you can like isolate different part of the uh, of the image, depending on the depth of your image. All right. Uh, warped surfaces for your graphics on a T-shirt or something like that, that could be warped. And if you want to replace the graphic or throw a mosaic and just kind of blur it out, there's cool tools to do that. Um, updated. Um, you know, uh, resolve effects for beauty. So they're calling it ultra beauty. So there's a lot of cool stuff. Um, you can go through and just like look at it for yourself and just read through it. But the three things that I personally feel like are the ultimate game changer are here. Okay. Because this is what happens, right? Anytime a new tool comes out, the all the new features are really cool and we use them for two minutes and then we just go back to the old ways because they just work, right? So like why change something if it ain't broke. But for me, the three tools that I feel like really stand out, number one is going to be Blackmagic Cloud. Okay. This is the ultimate game changer. Like to this day, I have, you know, my color assistant that can just do um, basically shot match everything for me. I come up with the look and then I'm going to have my color assistant somewhere else, like, you know, take over the project. Right now, it's really hard because majority of my colorists that I work with are overseas and the internet might not be the best. So I have to upload everything on Dropbox. They have to download it, the camera original, and then, you know, do all the things that they have to do with Blackmagic Cloud. That process becomes very seamless. And when I take you guys through it, it's going to be a, an ultimate game changer. Okay. So for personally, for me, I feel like this one is massive. The second one is right here, intelligent media management. So the dumb way of the past where you have to tell it the exact path, the exact file, or else it's going to freak out. And Resolve was pretty bad about it when it comes to like, you know, linking up media. Um, and that is just the ultimate nightmare when you're doing a round trip. Okay. And when you're doing a project handoff, it's just always been an issue with this intelligent media management and what they're promising. That is the ultimate game changer for it to just be smart enough to like link things up without you filling in the blanks is a massive one for me. And then the third one, which is a general one that I'm going to say is uh, a, an improved neural engine. Okay. So the neural engine right here is getting smarter um, by every update that they do. And this is extremely exciting because the kind of stuff that they're showing you that this thing is capable of is just next, next level, right? Like for the magic mask or you know your paint tool infusion to work like that is something that we're used to in after effects but it wasn't necessarily possible uh, in the resolve world right and then even when you see the object mask and this time they've added cars and they've added so many other objects animals and pretty much anything under the sun that is a huge improvement this is the ultimate game changer and then they're also promising that 
you know, the processing of it, of this tool is going to be a lot faster. So I'm going to be the first one to say it was sort of like a, a deal killer for me, how slow this tool was even on my $22,000 machine. So I just didn't really use it. Like it was so slow that I'm like, okay, this just pulls me out of my element when I'm grading, whatever. I'm just going to, you know, stick with the older tools like power windows, feathering and all that good stuff. But what they're promising, and if it's true, which I believe that it is because that's just the name of the game, right? Like this neural engine, the AI of color grading, which is the next gen of color grading is coming in hot and resolve is in the forefront. And the kind of stuff that they're experimenting with makes me very happy, even with this automatic depth map. That is very exciting with the kind of stuff that's happening. Now they're saying with object mass, you can even do sky replacement. And it is very intelligent. Like when you, when the sky is replaced, how it's going to behave. So things that were rocket science back in the day are now becoming like just one click and then let resolve do the rest for you. So these are the three features that I'm extremely, extremely excited about, but I will be doing tons of videos on other features. I'm going to be breaking them down individually. If you have any specific tool that you saw in Resolve 18 that you would like to see a video about, drop it down below. And guys, as always, please trust me when I say this, if you really want to take your color grading to the next level, then do me a favor and check out this free training that I have. Okay. You have to check it out. It's absolutely free. And just look at the things that I'm covering in here. It's basically a masterclass in its own right. It's coming with a lot of freebies too. So you get project file, uh, or actually you get the practice footage, power grades, and tons of LUTs from me. So sign up. It's absolutely free. You can even see on the bottom left, like people are joining, um, constantly. So check out this training link is going to be in the description and if you're enjoying the content, do me a favor, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel for more awesomeness, and I will see you guys in the next video.